what's up guys? We're um, here for the second episode of the Arcade Adventures and I think I'm going to be concentrating uh, majority of the time here on the, um, the claw machines. Right now I just saw this pair here and I want to try to see if I can do the swing technique on it. I'm not too good at the swing technique. As, uh, ah, fuck it. I'm not going to do it. Alright, why not? That's not going to get it. It's too close. I was a fool for doing it. Uh, the cool thing about this one is you really can't lose because now I can continue to go for candy. Not that I really care. Hey, look, I got a... I think a gumball. I don't know. I underestimate. Am I still going? didn't detect it. I hate going for the candy because it just takes forever and I don't know, I'm not really a sweet guy. Like, I don't like candy, so. Alright, let me see. Let me actually try to aim. The only thing is you can only go straight back with this thing. And it doesn't work, so maybe I can grab something out of the course not. I hate the candy one. I really do. Nothing. And it's going to keep making me do this until I win. You gotta love those claw machines that, you know, play till you win, right? But, no. Oh, wait. Is it gonna detect this one? Look, I got two pieces of candy now. Uh, is there really anything else in here? I might be able to get that red thing, like, I doubt it, though. I'm recording this episode... Um, oh, someone must have put another token in there on accident. I thought it was a quarter. I knew. I remember it being 50 cents. Someone just must have accidentally put it, so. Uh, I can't get this thing. I don't really see anything that else that is gettable. Check my angle. That looks as good as it's going to get. Do I have it? Ah, no, I don't. I might come back for that one. Uh, let's go on to the dang candy. I'm gonna end this part of the video, I guess, right here while I go get some candy and look at the other claw machine. All right, now we're gonna be at this claw machine, the Zany Zoo. Um, do I have a play? Did someone else put another quarter in? I guess so, and I just started it. I'm thinking about going for this black guy right here, so. The only problem with this is I really can't use my angles that well, and Time seems to go down a bit fast, but uh, I think that's good. Nope. Let me get that out of the way for you, dude. Let me try that one again. It did say two tokens, but I got. It, let me get one play out of it. Sorry if I'm moving the camera around too much. I think this one, you know has a weak claw on it, but let me try going for the black dude again. Move a little bit further behind him. Use my angles as best as I can, I guess. Move back a little bit further, I want to say. And let's see if that gets him. Oh wow, I completely missed him. Not a good night. I'm actually going to try for the, uh, the blue dude all the way there in the back, so... Not fun when you have to record yourself. Then you get to watch me bend down and pick up coins. All right, come on, that might be good right there. Let me just uh, maybe a little further back. That looks like it's going to be good. Oh, that might happen. Nope. You weak piece of crap. Let's try the blinking. I like the blinking. Anything really gettable in here? I don't know. Why don't we just, uh, maybe that bracelet right there. We'll throw caution to the wind, I guess, and try the, uh, the bracelet. Um, I don't actually think that bracelet's gettable because of the fact it might be too close. So... I guess I'll... I have plenty of time in this one. Maybe that piece band right there? I don't know. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Let me see. Oh, I can. All right. Maybe over... That's as far as I can go. I don't know if it's over it. Of course, 
see I can't really use my angles in this. And I'm not even looking at the P-Stand, of course. I'm such a horrible cameraman. Uh, I guess maybe that might do it. I don't know. Oh, that No, it's not. That thing might be gettable, though, so... I should at least put a dollar in here. That's what I'm, I think I'm going to start doing. I think I'm going to... Did that not go in? I think I'm going to at least put a, a buck in these ball machines. That way I don't have to keep bending down for them. We're going to try it for the C-SPAN again. And if I don't get it this time, then uh, I'm not going for it. Let me zoom this out a little bit. anyway. Oh, that... Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Ah! Oh. I'm gonna try for that thing. I can't believe... It. I didn't think I could lift that thing up, but you know what? Let's try for that. I might be able to get that damn thing. That gosh darn thing. So, let's see. Maybe if I can hook it inside the little, um... Whatever that thing is, I think it's a bracelet. I don't know. Something I certainly don't need. Loud noises. Alright, uh, let's try this. That might happen. No, not even all. Uh, I might come back to it. Is there really anything in here? I don't see anything gettable in this machine next to me. I don't know. I'll look around and uh, see what we can get. All right, we're here at the uh, the grab and go right now, and um, this is a brand new claw machine they have in here. And I don't think it's going to be hard to win anything. Only problem is I just noticed this: the damn the, the thing, I guess the prong, is actually stuck on the thing. So I put two bucks in here, and I'm probably not going to win anything. But I might go after Patrick. Oops, I touched it. Um. Oh, it ran out of time. Ran out of time like a dork, but it doesn't seem like that thing's actually going to bother. How much time do I get? Huh. I get like 20 seconds, I guess. I think Patrick's gettable. Moving my sides a little bit. Uh, oh, that thing's pretty far, actually. That might be able to... Ooh, maybe... Dang, you really run out. Oh, wait, I got it. I got it. We got a Patrick Star. That is a guaranteed boom. Oh, well, that's a creepy voice, too. Ah, got a little Patrick Star. All right, here we go. I usually don't like this one, but I see that pig right there, and I, I think I might be able to just clip him, so let's see. Might be able to just push him in. I don't know. I'm usually not good at this big claw. I don't know why I'm not. Just, I don't like it. Let's see. Do I? Oh no, that's. I think he's gettable. I really do. Let me. Uh. Hey, look, it's the penguin. They always put the cool prize, or at least the prizes I like, further down in, and I. I don't really like them. Like they always put the lame prizes up. Not a fan. Should be able to get that pig, honestly. If I can just flip him right, it might be able to just knock him in. Uh, maybe if I move it up a little bit more. Let me see. That's not going to get it. Oh, wait, wait! Yes! Oh, you want him, dude? There you go, man. And there goes my pig. Now, nothing else is really gettable in that one, is it? Yep, there we go. I wasn't sure if it was recording. Uh, we're back at the Zany Zoo, and I think I'm going to try for a black one in his butt in the air. I'm telling you, booty never fails Matt, so I don't know why it's failing me. I won that pig before. I, I might use that one for the, uh, the Matt video. I gave it to that little kid. Uh, that one looks pretty good. That, that has him. Oh, come on! Oh, and it flipped him over, too. You gotta be kidding me. 
I might go for him again. I'm gonna actually go for this purple guy. If I, I mean, his booty's not up in the air or anything, but if I clip him right. It's been recording. Um, my memory was full, so I had to delete some things. Uh, before we left, I said I was going to go for this purple guy, so I guess I'll try for him again since I utterly failed the last time. Uh, that looks like it's over him. That might have him. Nope, not of course. I hate this machine. I guess I'll try for the black guy one more time. If anything, I don't really see anything else. Like They look like they're good, but for some reason this machine's just not working for me and it upsets me because this one usually is good. Oh no! I got him on his butt though. I'll try a couple more times. I keep saying I'm not going to try, but I'll try for a couple more times. Why not? Oh, touch the screen. I only grabbed two quarters that time. His butt's up in the, well not up in the air, but he's on his back, which is the best way to get him. Got him. Come on, you freaking dork. Let's go. Why are you giving me such a hard time? I'm winning this guy. I mean, he's not exactly a sitting duck, but maybe if I move up a little bit. Let's try moving up towards his head. That one was a pretty bad claw drop, too. That actually, that might, uh, I don't know. That might have him. Let me look. That might have him. Of course not. Why are you giving me such a hard time? I'm going to try one more time in this machine. I'm not even going to try for that guy. I'm actually going to try for this black guy back here. Which is the same exact thing. But for some reason, this one is giving me a problem. So, watch me not even be able to, of course. I guess I'll try for blue. Little boy blue we'll try for. That might no. I'm actually using the camera to determine a little bit better. Let's see if I that nope. I don't like this machine today. I don't like it. We're actually gonna try the telephone booth one, so let me kick my stuff over here. We've only won two prizes and I've spent quite a few bucks. So I gave that one prize to that little kid though, so I feel like a good person inside right now. Um I don't really see anything winnable in here. Maybe that chili pepper, but it's a weird shape, and for some reason, those things just... Do I have a play? Someone must have already put a token in here. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling the chili pepper. I don't think it's going to be gettable. It's a weird shape, and I... I guess that's really the only thing I can see in here that's really winnable, so... Why not try? Oh, wait a minute. Aw, oh, come on. I don't know. Maybe he is winnable. That'd be a really cool prize, actually. I, I like the chili pepper. Interesting. It's not like the uh, kind of, you know, lame prize they have in here. This is the same prize I've won. Um, I won a lot of things on, actually, so... I'm going to try more for the, the top portion of his head because that's... This machine shakes every time I move it. Such force. Top part of his head. Uh, oh, I ran out of time, but that might have him. Oh, I almost clipped him by the freaking tag. Let me try it again. He's, I'm itching him a little closer, so... I might actually be able to snag him here with a 2 and one That'd be really cool. Go closer towards the head. Um, uh, that might do it. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, I almost said that, that bear's gettable now. I, I, that bear and the chili peppers. No, I'm not going to say the chili peppers gettable because uh, I don't know. I don't know if the chili peppers gettable, but we. The bear kind of played him out a little bit there, so possibly, maybe a little bit over, I want to say. That has to have him. 
Um, I, I can't see it. And, oh, come on, bear. Come on, bear. Don't do this to me. I am not good. Arcade Adventures, and here I am screwing up. I'm having a bad day when I'm trying to film this video for Matt for his Play a Claw Day thing. If I move it a little bit, I'm, that might be might be perfect. Let me see. Oh, that, that has to get him. Yep, yeah, perfect grab. And we got the green bear. We got a green bear, nerds and geeks. And uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm actually, I want that chili pepper. <laughs> he's not even gettable. I know he's not even gettable. Oh, look, M&M's. Like I said, all the cool prizes at the bottom. I'm going to try like one or two times for this chili pepper. If I don't get them, then I'm not wasting it too much on them. You never know, though. You never know. Got a green burr out of it, so that's always good. How you feel, Paul? I'm gonna actually try for the uh, the annoying orange there at the back, and that's gonna be my last time on this claw machine. Oh, I can actually reach back there, but of course, you know. Oh God, here we go, swing technique for me. Oh my God, did I do it? Oh. Ah, whatever. All right, um, I'm only doing one play on this one because. We're here for the prizes of the day. I um, did this before at the arcade, but it was really dark and you couldn't see the uh, the prizes I was showing off, so I figured I'd do them here. We only won four prizes here today. It's not too good, but before I start showing them off, I want to explain why I made this. I made this because I did want to get another arcade adventures out. I didn't want you guys thinking I just stopped the project. No, I'm not done. I'm just not doing too well on money, so once I can find a job, I can you know start doing them more, hopefully which uh, I really love to do it. And we focus on the claws here today because mainly um, that's one of the one things I do want to focus on the most in my well, first episode we didn't get to focus on them too much because of the fact that the camera died on me. And another reason why I wanted to do this episode pretty soon is because uh, the claw master, Matt Magnone, um, his birthday, the guy who inspired me to do this, his birthday was uh, April 11th, I believe, and um, he determined that that was National Play a Claw Day, and he wants all his subscribers, which I just happen to be one of them, to send him in a video response of you know their best wins and most upsetting losses and I had some you know some especially the pig one I'm gonna probably include that one and some of my uh, more upsetting losses like uh, the black thing that I picked up and it didn't 
you know, loosened up. I, can, I watched the videos over again. And that claw machine uh, definitely didn't have a payout rate, but maybe it did. I don't know. All I know is it never has done that to me before, and that day it just started loosening up each day. So prizes for the day. We only won four, but I only have three here, and I'm, we'll go over why. Uh, first thing we won to that day was uh, this Patrick Ball from uh, one of the brand new claw machines they had in there. Um, I can see me winning a lot on those. The claw has a really tight grip on it, and these just fit perfectly in it. Uh, the South Park one, um, well, there was a South Park one. I didn't record it because uh, the little kid I gave the uh, one of my prizes to came by, and I was kind of giving him my hints. I'm not too good at the damn claw machines. But uh, we won this little Patrick's uh, ball from SpongeBob SquarePants, so there's that. Uh, second prize we won was the the pig that I gave away to the little kid. Um, we got it from behind it, and I just you know kept scooting it forward because that claw is way too big, so I just took advantage and just use the back one basically to push it forward a little bit more um next thing we won was this green burr um he was um i wasn't actually aiming for this guy we were going after the the red hot chili pepper and as i picked up the chili pepper dragged this guy out and he became gettable and got a perfect grab on it all the way up and dropped him in and the last prize we won was uh this purple football that i actually did not think i was gonna win um footballs are hard because they usually slide out but I was going, you know, I was going after something and I didn't realize that I, it was too far back. I wasn't going to be able to get it, and I'm not good at the swing technique, so I wasn't going to try it. So, um, you know, I just went after this because it's the one thing, and I ended up grabbing it perfectly, which, you know, is really cool. I got a purple football, so that's all good. So we, we got, you know, four prizes, uh, Patrick Ball, purple football, and uh, green bear. So, and that pink pig that I gave away to the little kid. And uh, that's about it. Hopefully, I still do have some money. And I was talking to one of my friends, Derek, uh, saying we should go to Stars sometimes, which is the place I recorded that both times, episode one and two. Uh, asked him, and he said, yeah, we should go. I just got to check my work schedule. So hopefully um, we, I can go with him, and we can get some more arcade stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, as always, leave a like, subscribe if you would like to see more. Hopefully I can do more. Go check out Matt's channel because he's fantastic and deserves all the support in the world. He's a great guy. And as always, I have been OMGWTF, LOL, FTWBRB, and I will see you next time when we continue on in our adventures at the arcade.